so <clears throat> apparently Victoria had 56 new cases overnight. Um, but it's getting pretty bad in New South Wales, apparently. So their death toll has gone up to eight. Last time I heard here, I think we're only like two or three. Um, but yeah, things are getting pretty serious. They're saying stage three now is pretty much happening. So previously, I believe they were like, you can't have gatherings of more than 10 people. And now they're saying no more than two. So it's not even a gathering. I'm going to figure out, um, I'm going to edit this vlog today because I want to try to get week one out. Today's Monday. Yeah, so... I don't even know what I'm going to call this vlog, like, because apparently YouTube are pulling videos that talk about COVID, apparently. So yeah, I might have to read into the policies on YouTube just to see what's going on, because um, I've got two videos with COVID in the title, and they're still up. Anyway, today I've got to go see my mum and dad. I'm just going to get some food from them. I'm just going to drop in and out. I'm not going to hang out. Um, and yeah, maybe come home and do a haul video of what they got me, huh? All right, that was super quick. I was in and out. Now let's go home and see what mum got me. All right, just got back from my parents. Let's see what they've given me. This is the week two survival kit from mum. Mats, uh, they're just mats. So Junjun loves these, so I lie these down. Junjun's got, Junjun loves this material. She loves lying on these. So they're for Junjun. Freezer bags? I don't need freezer bags. What do I need freezer bags? My freezer is like chockers at the moment. Don't need freezer bags, but I got them anyway. <sighs> new sheets. I've got plenty of sheets, mum. What are you doing to me? Just bought me new sheets. I'm a big dreamer. I am a big dreamer. I don't like that color, mum, if you're watching this. But um, that's all good. I can always use spare sheets, but uh, I've got plenty of sheets. Rubbish bags. Are they large? Yes, large. I've got plenty of these too. So, again, I'm good for the next while. Oh, this is what I like. Heavy duty gloves. This is what you need, people. I just use these just to wash dishes, really. I mean, I use nothing but hot water for my dishes, so you need them to be extra thick gloves. All right, what else we got here? We got plenty of bottles of water, which I already have plenty of, plenty of water, but that's okay. You can always use more water. Raw sugar sticks. I'm on a diet and I do not really need sugar, but sure. Got tissues. I've got, again, she's loading me up with stuff she loaded me up with last week, so I've got plenty of tissues at the moment, so if anyone needs any, hit me up. And some paper towel, which I've also got plenty of. Again, we don't know how long this stuff's going for. Now, mm -mm -mm, this is what I'm looking forward to, because I'm hungry. What's in here? Oh, there's a note. Put in fridge. Crunchy. What is it? Ooh, what's crunchy? Oh man, pickled cucumbers. There's like little pickled baby cucumbers. Whatever, I guess I'll eat it. I'm on a diet, so I need to eat healthy stuff. That's healthy, I guess. We got, ooh, little pancakes. I'll eat that. There he is. What is that? Some of my mum's vegetable soup. Some beef, it looks like. Some steamed chicken. She said there's garlic in here, so I can't give any to Jun Jun. Some rice. Boring. Oh shit, I left my TV on. Oh, screen burn. Oh, is that all? And also, what is it? it looks like steamed egg or something. Steamed egg, it's an Asian thing. It's pretty good. <laughs> he tried to bite me then. Alright. Um, so, it is day or whatever. And it is my birthday. Yay. Um, so, I didn't want to turn on the TV today because I don't want to hear any bad news today, right? I don't have any plans today. Um, yeah, so usually on my birthdays in the last bunch of years, I pretty much prefer to just spend it by myself and isolate anyway. I just want to hide away from the world um, because, yeah, I hate being reminded of, uh, of getting old. So, last year was good. Last year I didn't spend it by myself, but um, that's another story for another time. Yeah, so I figured just to start the morning off, I should open my mum's card or whatever that she gave me around a week ago. I guarantee you she gave me cash money, which is good because I literally had no cash money. I had $11 in my bank two days ago, and then yesterday I got a message from the bank saying, hey, you've been overdrawn. It's because Apple took money from my iCloud payment, and now I've got negative money until tonight. All right. 
dear son. Happy birthday, son. Um, mum wish you, wishes you, mum. Mum wishes you. But she wrote, mum wish you all the very best. If you, <laughs> if you obey this virus's rule, you spelt virus the word. <laughs> <laughs> she spelt virus terrible. Mum, you told me the other day. My mum thinks I'm a YouTube star or something, right? And she watched my coronavirus video. And she was telling me, because I couldn't pronounce the word trachea. Trachea. Um, and she was like, did you know, son, if you can't read a word, you can ask Google. Which I used to do, but I didn't that time. I thought it'd be funny if I couldn't read it. And she, were, she spelt virus versus... Yeah, anyway... If you obey this virus rule, virus, you just have to say virus mom. You don't have to say viruses rule, just say this virus rule. We will go through it. Clean hands. This birthday money's for you. Money as well, mum, is not M-O-N-I-E-S, it's just money, M-O-N-E-Y, apostrophe S. This birthday money is for you to spend wisely. Money doesn't last long these days, so please use it when you only need it. Try to stay at home as much as you can. <laughs> Clean the bath and toilet, okay? <laughs> Lots of love, mum. Nah. Um, that's funny. Not a red envelope, a golden envelope for my birthday. Let's have a peek. Ooh uh, I've been mostly eating at home, obviously, the last couple of days, but since it's my birthday, I'm gonna definitely go buy myself some, some food to bring back home. Um, and also a coffee. I want a good coffee. I come back and watch Comic Gories, which is a comic book show on YouTube, which I'm excited to uh, catch the live stream today. So that is my plan. Um, but yeah, for now, it's my birthday and uh, it's what, eight, nine o'clock in the morning? And I'm gonna go do the dishes. Okay, dishes are done. Had a shower. My hot water didn't last very long. It was weird. Really weird. Um, I have 20 minutes to go get breakfast and come back in time for Comic Gories. I'm pumped to watch this um, YouTube show live. Uh, it's about comic books and you know my YouTube channel. It's about comic books. 20 minutes, I'm gonna go get that food and come back and chill out for the rest of the day and hopefully get a good coffee. Because this guy is one slow Mofo, come on mate, you could have gone then. What are you doing in my life? I must say, I'm starting to dig the face mask, right? I mean, it's kind of cool. They're like all ninjas walking around. There's not enough people wearing them though, I've got to say that. Definitely not enough people wearing them, but, you know, they look pretty cool. And I'm probably better looking with a mask on, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been filming a vlog every day, two vlogs. I've been, I've been doing my coronavirus vlog. <laughs> Uh, which I released the trailer for on Instagram today. And I did, I'm doing a weight loss vlog. Fuck, oh, really? What well, are you doing? What's your, what's your program? Well, I'm trying to lose weight in three weeks just from basic stuff like diet and basic yeah. exercise. Not not too hard. It's because it's called simple weight loss. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're already in good shape, dude. Like, mm, I put on some pounds. This all suits me, man. Just sitting around doing nothing. <laughs> It is, it is a pretty good thing to actually, you know, to have to do other than being out of work. But yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I'm pretty happy just to chill, just do my own thing. I was sort of worried last week. I was thinking about how I can try to keep getting work coming in because I, all the work I do now is on location. Like I've turned down all the editing work because I don't enjoy it. And now it's like it's all I can do, and I'm not getting any work. So, um, but the new um, this new uh, job keeper payments kicking in, so. I'll be, I should be fine. I'll get those. Yeah. And then, um, you know, the Luke calling me. I'll send him a text. Uh, with my last week of work, I was starting to feel sick. So I was crook for about a week. And I called up because I was freaking out. I was like, fuck, do I have it? You <laughs> know, Do I need yeah. to go get checked? So I called up that, that phone line thing. So the yeah. website was just saying, if you haven't been around someone who's traveled or haven't been in contact with someone who's got it, then you're fine. I'm like, oh, yeah. really? How are you supposed to know? How are you supposed to know? I know, I, everyone I know has been having, like, phantom symptoms. Like, I have a cough or a headache. I'm like, oh, fuck, it's on. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and, the th and the thing is, like, you don't want to go 
to where you get tested because you if you don't have it you're risking by like, being surrounded by people who do you know yeah yeah no well that's why i hated wearing it in the first place mate it used to be such a stereotype thing you know the face mask yeah i know but now it's but just now like you're into, I'm, now you're into comic books and like eating pho and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's cool, man. <laughs> the face mask is rocking, I'm telling you. Fucking crazy times though now, eh? Yeah, man, it's insane. So I've been filming a vlog. You're on it right now. Um, really? Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was a bit of fun. Got a text message from my mate Steg saying happy birthday and um, do you want to have a FaceTime? It's like, sure, I don't FaceTime. Let's do this technology future stuff. So we had a good chat. And then I got a text from Luke. Um, both those guys are in my old band, The Worst. Um, the boys from The Worst coming through on my birthday. Um, so after I FaceTimed with Steg, I messaged Luke. I was like, hey man, do you want to FaceTime? Because that was fun. <laughs> So then I had a good chat with Luke, so yeah. Um, that was good. That was highlight of my day, to be honest, speaking to the boys. So, had a couple of drinks. This is good for the corona, apparently. Um, so yeah, I've actually lost count of how many I've had. And I really don't know how I'm going to clean up now, because I've had so many of these. But, here's to... Me. <laughs> uh. Gotta wish I had some Coke. Coca-Cola. All right, so yesterday was, last night was good. I just sat here and got dry. I nearly, I had like half a bottle. I had quite a lot and I didn't feel drunk, but uh, I thought I was gonna sleep really well last night because I drank so much, but I had trouble sleeping. And then I woke up very quickly. I'm gonna go do a quick um, film shoot at Big City Comics. Um, I haven't turned on the TV for two days now. I actually don't know what's going on uh, in the world. Um, last time I checked, um, something like they're getting really strict on the whole no more than two people sort of thing and they're really encouraging you not to do anything unless it's essential. <clears throat> now, I'm going to the shop before Mark opens, um, so it will just be me and him, so as far as I'm aware, I'm not breaking any laws or anything. Man, I keep forgetting to turn my microphone on. Oh, Alf, sorry, it's been on all night. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so I don't have much reason to leave the house today. Um, it's weird, my water's like running out of something. I sat in the shower and it felt like someone was slowly turning off the tap. And then just then I went to fill up my kettle. No water. Anyway, I'm gonna make some breakfast and catch up on some of my YouTube buddies videos. And turn this freaking mic off. Okay, um, yes, I haven't actually turned on the TV for a few days, so I better check it out. Um, I don't think I did a vlog this morning on this. Uh, I've basically spent the day editing videos and eating food while I can. But yeah, um, I literally have no idea what's going on in the outside world right now. There literally could be zombies outside and I would have no idea, so I have a quick squiz. Victoria authorities confirm state's fifth virus death. Woman in her 70s has died. I don't want to hear this stuff. Literally, again, another day just not leaving the house at all. Literally, I just stepped outside to get my mail. I've just been editing all day. I'm about to film another video um, and get that done really quickly. And then I need to take a break from editing. I just need to, yeah, chill out. This is, uh, it's not burning me out. Like, I do love video editing and stuff like that, but. Mate, I have been non-stop for like nearly two weeks now. I haven't had time to just relax. I have barely sat on my couch, my new couch since uh, I've had it, and now I've, I've already had it for like, I don't know, a couple of months. So, yeah, got to uh, have some relaxed time hopefully tonight. 
Alright, so I'm going to see my parents. Um, I feel like she need. Oh, I need to go pick up some uh, medicine for my dad or something. My mum wanted me to go. Um, so I think I'm going to go there, probably get some sort of prescription, I'm guessing. Go to pick up the medicine for them. Come back, get some food. And then that'll be it. I've been editing so much, I need a break. I took a bit of a break last night, sort of. From about midnight to four in the morning, I didn't edit videos. Anyway, uh, this is boring. I'm out until further notice. Uh, it is a beautiful day here in Melbourne, Australia. You would look around and think nothing is wrong. Until you see the face mask. All right, so I'm at the shopping center that's actually across the road from my parents. I'm not in my town at the moment. I just figured I'd see how dead it is up here. Yeah, it's pretty dead. So normally I come up to this part of the car park because it's normally the least busiest anyway, but this is, this is really dead. I've never seen it like this, this is crazy. Right, that was crazy. I've never seen the shopping center look like that. Like, <clears throat> literally, like, almost every shop is shut. That was like some serious zombie apocalypse action, minus the zombies. Um, yeah, I went into the My Chemist to pick up my medicine for my parents. And there was the guy at the door, and he was like, had this thing, and he was scanning everyone's foreheads before you could enter the shop. So he's obviously scanning for temperatures and stuff like that. And I was fine, like today's the best I've felt in weeks to be honest. Um, and yeah, so he checked my temperature and then he started asking me about my mask. He was like, is that your only one? I was like, what? Is that your only one? I was like, what? He's like, is that the only mask? Is that your only one? I was like, what? I didn't know what he wanted. It's like, what are you talking about? He's like, are you about to jump me for my cool mask? Because my mask is cooler than the one you're wearing. Like I said, I used to not be down with the face mask because of the stereotype. But now, I think they look cool. Like, even when this shit's over, I might keep wearing this face mask. When I was speaking to Luke the other night, he kept saying, mate, you are becoming more and more Asian every year. Like, well, you know what? You should be proud of me. <laughs> Let's do a quick mum haul survival kit. Two boxes of tissues. Guys, if you need tissues, you know who's, who you can hit up. Two slices of bread. Um, a crap load of Ribena, which is good, because you know, you gotta get your vitamin C in. So I've got a bunch of Ribena, which is good. And also, some Abo. All good stuff in there. Now, you do. Get out of there. Now in here, oh, this is really not much stuff I can show you. I mean, it's just food, really. Rice and what is that? What's going on here? Looks like garlic prawn or something with some snow peas. I mean, on top of some snow peas. Um, some black bean. Pork maybe? Pork ribs, looks like. I'm gonna eat that stuff right now. Feliz cumpleaños, 
que tu vida esté llena de bendiciones, éxito, amor y salud por siempre. Is that how to translate that? You go ahead, man. A couple of words. There's a couple of words in there. I saw a little bit of it. I saw. I heard happy birthday, obviously, at the beginning, and may your life be full of love. I heard love. I heard friendship. Was there friendship in there? Amistad. Health. 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 Success. And blessings. We're going to the house. Jason Todd is in the house. Beautiful, Roger. <laughs> I, I'm the only one not wearing a shirt. What am I thinking? I'm not either. <laughs> Thank you so much. Happy birthday, Irina. <laughs> How are you tonight, Simon? I'm all right. Tonight, it is morning here in Australia. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, it's 12 o'clock. Yeah. It's midday. It's midday. So it's Good right. afternoon, mate. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> well, and I want to just kind of pause everything right now. That's um, why you invited so many people. Oh my gosh, I read her mind and oh no. <laughs> because we missed a birthday. Oh, oh that is true. Days ago, it true. was Simple Simon's birthday. Happy birthday, May! Happy birthday! <laughs> so I sincerely apologize from the bottom of my heart. I uh, even, even Matt said happy birthday to me on Facebook. <laughs> now, um... He did the right thing, uh, Sharon, because, you know, me, I don't like being reminded, remember? That's why I hide away on my I birthday. I actually heard your, was that a video that you talked about that, where you kind of, like, go away? Yeah, I, I like to uh, disappear and not see anyone, because I don't like people reminding me. <laughs> so it's nice when people, you know, write comments on Facebook and stuff, but, yeah, I prefer to just forget about my birthday these days. <laughs> anyway, this is about Rena's birthday, all right? So. I know, but we just wanted to take a moment and let you know that we love and appreciate you, and we wanted to yeah, be thanks. special. Yeah. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you for having me. So. All right, so it's a pretty ordinary day today, so I'm just gonna stay at home again. Um, got a message from my mate Tony, and he's not having a good time at work. One of the things I guess has been coming up a lot is just um, how mental health is um, a big issue at the moment. A lot of people dealing with depression and everything, with everything that's happening. Um, and yeah, Tony just sent me this message about how yeah, work is not looking good. Is this, everyone's morale's down. A bunch of people are like, no, nah, I'm taking leave. And there's people that are breaking down, crying and stuff at work. It's rough, you know? He's telling me, don't come back. If you've got any extra annual leave or sick leave, do not come back. It's not worth it, but mate, I'll come back and I'll suffer with you all. Yeah, it's a tough situation. Um, and yeah, even though I'm sort of loving life at the moment, being able to just stay at home because this is just what I do anyway. Like I said, I'm very much introverted. The closer it gets to me going back to work, I think I'm gonna start to, um, yeah, it's gonna probably start to get to me a little bit too because I don't think that my workplace should be open. But what can you do? Yeah, I'll go back. I mean, look, what can you do? I, I'm, I, I gotta be, I, I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones that I still have a job. So, yeah, I'll go back and uh, suffer with you guys at work and, you know, if anything, if, as long as I'm in good spirits, then, you know, I'll try to bring some joy back to the workplace if I can. So today, another day of just being locked at home. I really want to pr be productive. I've got to stay off my computer. I might catch up on some reading. I'm going to be on another live stream on Tuesday at 5.30 a.m. Um, yeah, with on uh, the boy who had sevens YouTube channel uh, yeah, big respect for that dude so yes uh, it's gonna be an honor for me to be able to share a stream with him and we're gonna be talking about books comic books that we've recently read so I haven't read much lately so uh, I'm gonna catch up on some reading right now and yeah we'll see what else happens I don't know again this vlog is probably really boring I uploaded week one last night thinking oh man I I sat there, it took me six hours to publish the video because I was like, I had doubts of whether I wanted people to even see this vlog. If anything, look, it's 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 a side, it's a different side of me. You don't normally see my videos. It's had 35 views, which is, ugh, I feel bad for those people who've watched it. Although I've had some okay comments. Yeah, I don't know what else to say. It's, uh, things are getting grim. I haven't turned on the TV for days because I just, I didn't want to know. I didn't want to know anymore, you know? I just want to try to forget what's going on at the moment. 
and yeah I'm just gonna try to enjoy myself while I can all right so I figured it's Sunday so it's the last day of the week I should just quickly sum up the week um, it's just been really quick I haven't done anything I've barely left the house this week I'm starting to really think about what's gonna happen um, once it gets closer to me having to go back to work uh, yeah at the moment I'm just I'm still on holiday mode even though holidays just been locking myself at home but yeah I feel like the closer it gets the more I might start to stress out a bit about having to go back to work yeah I'm pretty sure most people at the moment don't want to be outside it's definitely quietened and down from what I've heard online orders are apparently out of control at work but as far as um, traffic yeah, it's definitely died down, I heard, and, um... Well, you want to come down here, do you? Do you have to? No, come on. Come on. Um, it's rare moments where I let my cat sit on me, because I always got to get up. So if she sits on me, I'm like, oh. But, um... You don't want to sit on me? What are you doing? You want to go down? Nice jump. I don't know. If you guys are actually watching this vlog, I am so sorry. <laughs> nah, um, if you have... I don't know why you would, but um, thank you, I guess. I don't know, this was just an idea I had and I thought maybe it'd be more interesting, but just editing that first one was rough. <laughs> so if you guys watched it, thank you. Tomorrow, I think I really wanna have a break from editing and stuff. Um, I'll obviously have to film this, but uh, yeah, I just, need, I just need some time to relax. I read some comics before, that was good. Um, but I really would like to just lie down on this couch, you know, which I haven't really done since I've got it and watch and watch a show because this is I, I just want to lounge and watch some TV, which um, I never do. I never do it Literally, yeah, I've turned my TV on more I barely turned it on this week, but I've turned my TV on more last week than I have this entire year because I just I stare at my laptop screen now and watch all my fellow YouTube buddies. <laughs> That's all I do now, uh, apart from making videos. So, but anyway, that is um, week two of this vlog. Um, we'll see how crazy things get next week. Thank you for watching. Day one of week three, the final week of the quarantine vlog. I was just like, no one wants to watch you talk to the camera, mate. This is the first time I've set foot out of the house for three days. Mate. I'm very introverted. I feel like I have like a time limit of how long I can be out for or be around with people before I get to a point where I'm like, no, nah, I need to be by myself. The way they've got the supermarket set out at the moment is crazy. You can't just walk in, they've got everything, like they've got Q rails now. I feel like I want this vlog to have some sort of, I don't know, meaning. Got me some toilet paper, oh my god. If anyone needs any, hit me up, I promise you I'll send you a roll or two. Yeah? Stay safe, Chunga. Don't get the Rona. <laughs> this is like Hannibal Lecter stars. But yeah, I just caught a big ass Pokemon. King, obviously it's um just scary to be out there which is why I'm dreading going back to work it's like what fuck off are you serious are you serious you know she put a kid down on the ground and she said to a kid don't touch anything I was just thinking man imagine being a kid growing up during all this like this is something they're always going to remember I think that the world is potentially or hopefully going to become a better place from all this in some ways maybe the world needed this